What is good, everyone? My name is Polo. Hope you're doing well. And today we have a request to check out some Larry Bird. Now, if you're new to the channel, I didn't grow up watching Larry Bird play. He's never been a favorite player of mine. In fact, I've always hated the Boston Celtics. OK, <laughs> so I didn't give a damn about doing any research about Larry Bird, uh, although I knew what his intangibles were. I know that he could shoot the three. I know that he was known for like being able to post up and, and things of that nature. You know, I, I also know from 2K. I grew up playing 2K and NBA Live, so I know him from the video games. But so I would when we did it, we used to do a thing where we would pick teams on the game and we make our own all-star teams and you know I would just pick Larry Bird for three-point shooting I didn't pick him for all his other moves I knew he can do all the scoring but that's what I picked him for but anyways um, watching his highlights have has me questioning him versus LeBron because now Larry Bird's in my top five after the couple reactions that I've seen on here he just blows my mind I've never seen a player quite like him with the package and as clutch as he was uh, he wasn't he wasn't overhyped. I have to say it, you know, um, even even though I'm a big fan of defense, I've always loved players that are real all team defense. Larry Bird makes up for that with his incredible offense and, and dominance. So uh, today we are checking out Larry Bird's legendary moment in three point shootout. Now, I haven't seen this. You guys are about to go on that journey with me shortly before we get into it. If you like this type of content please be sure to like the video. If this video gets 10,000 likes, we'll do more sports reactions on here. Um, if you guys enjoy that, or if you just enjoy the show, I appreciate it. Um, let's, let's get into it and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss my videos. Let's get into it. Let's go. Right there in that deep position, all of his balls kind of flattened out. They hit the front rim, and that really put the pressure on him. And here comes Bird back in a familiar position. So let's see if anybody can upset the world. And that means Dale Ellis. Let me explain the coin toss. He looks so young here. here. They'll toss the coin, and the winner of the coin toss can elect to shoot first or second. The loser will then have his choice of baskets. Like Dale won the toss, Bob, and just deciding what he wants to do. The same I will receive. Dale Ellis won the toss. And he can Dale Ellis. Okay, so I think it's gotten to the point now, and correct me if I'm wrong in the comments section, I think the three-point contest is more entertaining than the actual dunk contest now. Back then, I mean, the three-point test was, an, or it was an, afterthought, an afterthought, but you got somebody like Larry Bird or somebody like Steph Curry, then in that case, it's more exciting when you have someone who's a bona fide three-point shooter and they actually do it in the three-point contest. That's when it can compete. But for, for the longest, it's always been the slam dunk contest. He has said he will go first, and Bird chose the end opposite to the direction they are walking for his shooting. Well, he's been wearing this end out. So yeah. <laughs> we'll be back in a moment for the finals. Dale Ellis, we're not going to go away. Dale Ellis is going to shoot right now. One minute. I don't watch the NBA, so this is exciting for me because, you know, at least I can go watch the old stuff. It's hard for me to watch today's, today's NBA. 25 balls, a maximum of 30 points. The winner with $12,500, second place $7,500. This first rack is probably the most crucial for Ellis. If he can get a good rhythm going, he'll have a chance. Nice. Oh, got it going, like you said, Steve, four in a row. Oh my goodness. That first ball before Beautiful the, form. Uh, siren sounded and we'll make sure to see if that Oh, I I, I love his form. In fact, is an official point. Uh, Ellis is a player that, you know, can feel a uh, little bit of Sweet shot though. He, he's he's not clutch though. It's a good result in the first two racks. Let's go. This is the easiest rack. I'm a shooter by the way. Now we have 30 seconds remaining and Ellis with Come on, you got to hit that boy. Let's go. It's not bad. That was actually horrible. He didn't hit none of his none of his clutch. He he started off strong, but it, it got weaker. It's all mental. It's all mental, though. You know, for you know, it's 
showing up in the moment because he has a beautiful shot. Just a second to make sure of that. The first shot may not have counted. And Larry Bird, the two-time defending champion, nobody has ever defeated him in the long-distance shootout, is set to go. Nobody has ever defeated him? Right after we take a look at Dale Ellis. There you see Dale firing away. He got off to a terrific start, like you said, Steve, and I thought that that would get him going. Yeah, this is easily beatable today. However, even though he shot well on the second rack, the third and fourth racks were really his downfall. He, he was only able to drop that one brown ball and one two-point shot in on those two racks, and uh, that could prove to be very costly going up against the defense. All right, Larry, let's go. Bird. You know how Bird is. He feels that when the money's yeah. down, no one is better than himself. Yeah, watched him. He lined all those balls. Such a sweet name to have, Bird. Up to be in the perfect position on that first rack. I'm surprised he didn't do it on all of them. He has 60 seconds, 25 balls. He has to meet 15. I hate Larry. I hate his form. Three points out of the first. He was hard to shoot with on the game, so he starts off weak. I didn't like shooting with him on live or on 2K. What the hell? That big money ball that keeps him close. He's hit both the money balls, both the two point balls. He's got that cannonball shot. It's like he's over adjusting. He's come up short and then he's all of a sudden throws it a little bit long. He certainly doesn't have that. <laughs> That's a goofy form. <laughs> Match you with those short shorts. That's that clutch thing I was talking about. Huge rack that time for Bird. He's still got to drop one here quickly. 14. This is a tie for the money. Yo! Oh. And Larry Bird at the buzzer with the two point ball. <laughs> 17 to 15. And another thing I want to know now you hear the excitement from these announcers? Okay. Not say, I'm not killing the announcers, but we had some cl classic announcers like. Marv and um, what was the other guy's name with the the old guy? He was like a hundred years old forever that passed recently. Forget his name, but loved his commentating. Uh, and I think they fired Mark Jackson, if I'm not mistaken, recently, who was also uh, a great commentator who has his own catchphrases. Okay, uh, as well. So I don't I don't know if the, the NBA hired him back or if he's coaching now. Uh, but I I love the excitement uh, that these announcers bring to the game. That was beautiful. I mean, not the best one I've seen, but but pretty nice though. Ice water in his veins. The man is really spectacular. He was all over the place, as Steve pointed out in the first three racks, and when it came down, and Jersey hard money time. This is what the man responded to. He needed to make a couple down the stretch. He needed to make the last three to win, and he's down to the last three. There's one. Now he's tied, and now he's the winner three times in a row. He knew it <laughs> when he let it go and was headed for that check in the winner's circle. Bird came through with the big, big shot. All right, we're going to come back and the, have the trophy presentation and an interview with Larry Bird, who has won all three of the long-distance shootout. They're going to handicap this guy next year. We'll be right back to Chicago Stadium. Never lost is crazy. So there you have the final standings of the 1988 long-distance shootout. Larry Bird, the winner, 17 to 15. Watching this font feels like NBA Live for all my old gamers out there. It was uh, really interesting there at the end. Now, on the floor right now, are Mike Chamberlain, Director of Sports Sales for Sheraton, Al Thomas, Senior Vice President Operations West for Sheraton, Tony McKinnon, Vice President Advertising and Marketing Programs American Airlines, and Adrian DeGroote, President of NBA Properties, presenting the check for $12,500 to Larry Bird, the winner for the third time in a row. And you can Is see that had it? A, a Is there an, I thought this was going to be multiple ones here. He doesn't, okay. How did you get your rhythm back? Well, you have to concentrate a little bit more and take your time. A uh, minute's a long time to get up 25 shots, so I just took my time and uh, uh, was just hoping that someone would start dropping for me. With names like Al Capone and John Dillinger, Chicago's had some memorable shootouts. Maybe not stakes this hot, but <laughs> nobody cooler under pressure. You really thrive in this. Well, it's a lot of fun. This is when he was wearing regular suits. And, you know, uh, the guys come out, and it's a little bit harder than it looks. I got out there, and I knew I had to beat 15 points. I just took my time and uh, made some shots at the end, and uh, everything worked out for me. Congratulations once again. Thank you. 
I thought I was going to see more than one game here. I didn't know it was just one contest, so forgive me for that. I was super excited to see him play. I'm going to have to do another Larry Bird reaction because I didn't get my feel for this one. <laughs> but this was this one was pretty cool, pretty good. I, I, it's amazing that he was able to hold that stat down like that. Uh, you guys let me know, man. Uh, it's a lot about sports I don't know. So if you guys want me to react to boxing, football, uh, you know, basketball players that you loved uh, let me know in the comment section what I should check out if there's a video you love on YouTube that you think I should see you know I'll be reading the comments for it um, don't forget to like the video subscribe hit the notification if you want to support the channel you can purchase me a coffee in the link below also check out my patreon and catch stuff that doesn't make my YouTube channel hope you guys have a great day peace yeah look what I have for you